And now, the SCTV Movie of the Week proudly presents Maudlin's Eleven. I like it like that. <laughs> I like it like that. Sweetheart, would you put a little mm. bit more sting in this stinger? <laughs> yeah, you are some kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Where you be? What do you think of my niece? The niece is nice. <laughs> Look! <laughs> I love what he does. <laughs> hey! Hey, Bobo! Oh, how are you? <laughs> Oh, Samuel, a white of summer meeting. <laughs> oh, hi, doll. Looking as beautiful as ever, I see. <laughs> like clockwork? <laughs> Gentlemen, uh. we are going to pull a heist. And get this, we're gonna get some of our old GI buddies to help us out on this. I like, I like! Sammy, that is the swingingest idea I have heard. We'll get all seven of our pals from the 23rd. We will have 10 of the swingingest cats you've ever seen. <laughs> That's right, William Bebop, except we're not gonna have 10 cats. We're gonna have 11. We're adding one more for this job. Bobby's brother, Skip Bittman. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 Sammy, look. That kid is strictly Squaresville. If he's in, I'm out. Oh, now wait, Bobo, Bob. Thank you, sweetheart. Bobo! Now look, I know how you feel about your little brother Skip, but believe me, he is absolutely positively necessary for this gig. Now, you gotta trust me, man. I'll tell you one thing, Sammy. This cat ain't gonna be held responsible if that kid. Messes up. Gentlemen, here's to the perfect heist. Hmm. Oh, and remember. Boob, Ohio, boob, Ohio. Sky, oh, sky, oh, sky, oh. Nietzsche, boob, boob, boob. Conyo, conyo, boob, boob, boob. I'll fight to make this land our own Until I die This land is And I hope you all have a very happy holiday Bye, I, 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 I. I want to thank you for that great round of indifference The theme from Exodus, ladies and gentlemen A big hit Maybe an expatriated now for about 14. Okay, I want to bring out our featured uh, act right now. 
All right, she's a lady that leaves very little to the imagination. In fact, she leaves nothing to the imagination. All right! Shut up! That's my wife. You shut your filthy mouth. I catch any of you apes, I bomb my wife. I'm gonna jack you up. You got that? Now turn around, all of you. Let's see the backs of your heads. Come on! That's better. Now, no peeking. All right, will you welcome, please, Miss Honey Pie Trainer. Third Airborne. I'll see you later, baby. You're just nothing but a bring down anyway. Come on, it's a warm up act. I wish you people would warm up. <laughs> now, I love this business. I really do. Hey, how about that cruise, Jeff, huh? Can you imagine that? It's a damn good thing they didn't let him into Disneyland. Can you imagine him and Porky Pig walking around together there? Ebony, 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 Nikita. <laughs> Speaking of pigs, how about Mrs. Khrushchev, huh? Oi, what an ugly broad. <laughs> Looks like the whole 20 mule team there. You know the donkeys from the Baraxo? Looks like they all kicked her in the kisser. <laughs> hey, I'm Skip Bittman. You've been a great audience. On tonight's episode, it's terrific. You're not going to believe what Uncle Tanoose does to Sid Melton. It's fantastic. <laughs> the hell was that? Sounds like something big. Could be a heist. <laughs> I got to go. Now, right here on our stage, welcome Johnny Palaio and the Harmonica Gang. Johnny Palaio and the Harmonica Gang. One, two, three, four. Hey, what the hell? Where'd they go? All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> OK, OK. All right, now, look, gals. Catch you later, huh? We got to talk business here. All right, now, look. Listen up, everybody. Now, you all know what's shaking, right? Heistville. Yeah! Whoa! Dig! But who is we going to heist? You don't interrupt the man when he's talking to you. Sorry, Sammy. All right, now, who is one of the richest cats in television today? Why, Danny Thomas. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bingo, dingo. <laughs> and where does he keep all his money? In his dressing room at Desi Lou. <laughs> <laughs> and where is the heist going to take place? Oh, yeah, beautiful. The dressing room's a make room for Danny. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dig it, dig it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, cool breeze. If this is such a foolproof plan, how come somebody else hasn't tried to pull this off? For the same reason that we haven't put a man on the moon yet. For the same reason that the Japanese will never sell a car in this country. They don't have the know-how. Dig. <laughs> okay, now, here's the plan. Listen up. We do it tonight. Now, at 825, Skip Bittman begins his audience warm-up for the Make Room for Daddy show. Right in front of the curtain, right there, Sammy. All right, you'll be there now. At 8.30, he's gonna bring Danny Thomas out here to meet the audience. Now, at 8.36, and Bill, this is where you come in. You're gonna be at the Desilu Studios. Now, I want you to cut the power line over there, thereby plunging the entire complex into darkness. Think you can handle it? Piece of cake with frosting on it. 
<laughs> All right. Now, Bobby, take over from there. Okay, Sammy. Now, William B. and myself, we're going to be in the studio audience when Skip is doing his warm-up. Now, when the place goes into blackout, we're going to get into our special fluorescent outfits, go past the guard, down the hallway, and into Danny Thomas's dressing room. Johnny Paleo and the harmonica gang, you're going to be at this payphone. Now, you're going to be waiting for a call from William B. When you get that call, you move around to the side of the building and you meet us at the stage door. Bobby, may I from here? May I, Sam? Go ahead. <laughs> we'll come in the shortest route, whatever door you want, the shortest one. You go right to Danny Thomas' dressing room because in there, gentlemen, is the loot, the cat. Not so fast with that loot. It's just pretend money. <laughs> 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 okay. We take all the loot. We go out down the hallway here, out to the stage door right here. We take all the money out, put them in these little garbage cans right here. Dump it in there. Now, Skip Bittman will be waiting right out here in Danny Thomas's limo. We all hop in and take off. Here, I'll drive it, William B. I'll be right there, and everybody gets in the car, and we go off. Leave right, that right car there. alone. <laughs> Got it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going to be during all this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think's going to be picking up the loot, huh? I'm going to come by in a garbage truck. I'm gonna get the loot from the garbage cans, take it out to the garbage dump. We all meet there afterwards, and then we split the loot 11 ways. Huh? <laughs> After that, we are all on easy street, gentlemen. <laughs> Cats, here's to the perfect heist.